Welcome to Precise Automation's How to Automate series on automating Cognex Vision with a Cobot. Through this video, learn how to create a robust vision application integrated with the PreciseFlex Scara robot. For this example, we will be using Cognex Insight with our Cognex camera. Communication between Cognex and the robot will be through Modbus TCP. To enable this from the Cognex side, navigate to the sensor menu and choose Network Settings. Under Protocol Services, simply check the box next to Modbus TCP Server Enable. Modbus TCP Communication is now enabled and ready to go. Open up the Acquire Image function and edit the image parameters to get the highest contrast picture possible. In this example, we only need to bring the exposure down. To identify parts, we will be utilizing the Pattern Match algorithm. We will need to train the parts pattern, set the search area, and then adjust the parameters to ensure we capture all visible parts. Pull up the palette and insert the train pat max pattern function to first train the pattern. Set the pattern region around one single part. Next, insert the find pat max pattern function and set the find region to the visible field of view. Select the guiding pattern. Because we are looking at the parts in any 2D orientation, set the angle fine tolerances to start at minus 180 degrees and end at positive 180 degrees. Finally, set the number of parts to find if known. You will see we only found four out of the six parts shown. This can be fixed by adjusting the acceptance threshold. The threshold sets the lowest score of a valid pattern that will be accepted by the algorithm, ranging from 1 to 100. We lowered the acceptance threshold from 50 to 40 to find all parts, given the image quality. To convert the part locations from pixels to real-world coordinates, we will need to perform a calibration. Insert the Calibrate Grid function located under Coordinate Transforms and select a checkerboard grid. Print the grid and place this in the camera's field of view. Set the origin by choosing any intersection of four squares. For this example, we set the origin near the center of our field of view. Next, set the X and Y axes to align with the robot's world coordinates. In this example, the X axis spans from top to bottom of the screen, while the Y axis goes from left to right. Click Calibrate and check that the green dots overlaid on the screen line up with the grid pattern. Apply the Trans Pixel to World function to transform the row and column pixel coordinates to X and Y points. Select the calibration we just performed and then choose the values to transform. Copy over the theta value so the coordinates are in adjacent cells for easy Modbus register reading. Cognex Insight is now properly configured. Next, we need to read coordinates into a GPL project and command robot motion appropriately. Create a Modbus object in GPL using the camera's IP address. Read the Cognex cell data using the read holding registers function in GPL. For more information on this function, please refer to the GPL dictionary pages under the Modbus class. Teach your place locations and any waypoints and finalize the GPL program. For more information, including the coding example shown here, please contact sales at preciseautomation.com.